Hey everyone, welcome back to Chemistry is Easy for You. So yesterday was a historic day in the in in science because yesterday the Nobel Prize for Chemistry was um, announced and the Nobel was shared by two women scientists for the first time. So it is not the first time that women scientists get the Nobel, but it is the first time that only two women scientists share the Nobel between them. So Professor uh, Jennifer A. Donna and Professor Emmanuel Schapenscher got the Nobel. So Chemistry Nobel 2020. So why is it important? They got the uh, Nobel for a technique called CRISPR about which I would like to speak in one of the coming videos. And the important point for you is that it is not just chemistry. It's not just pure chemistry. It is biochemistry so that's why you need to know about each of the branches of chemistry and try to incorporate different branches within chemistry interdisciplinary areas of studies and research is extremely important in the coming days in science so you all need to know what you are going to learn in every courses and choose wisely maybe who knows one of you might get uh, the nobel in future so let's begin we are going to do Know Your Branches of Chemistry Part 2, where we'll talk about the subjects, the scopes, and more. So till last week, I have talked till computational chemistry. So today, I'm going to begin the video by talking about applied chemistry. So applied chemistry give you an introduction to every branches, including inorganic, organic, physical, analytical, and other branches like environmental, nanochemistry, etc. You will learn the basics of everything. You won't, you might go into details of the uh, inorganic, organic, physical, analytical, but other branches also will be included. Secondly, there will be much focus on chemistry and engineering techniques, specifically about nanomaterials, corrosion science, chromatography, spectrometry, then um, all these things. And physical and material chemistry also will be extremely important since it is applied chemistry. And as the name suggests, it is having a lot of uh, advantages uh, considering the fact you are looking for a job after MSc. So major advantage in CSA net and gate because you know uh, all the topics very well and you you are going to get hand-on experience in many techniques. So applied chemistry is really a good option. Then research career and teaching career is open and the other careers that you could look are for lab supervisors, researcher, technicians, then professor, then you can be an analytical chemist, a lab chemist, a production chemist, chemical engineering associate, biomedical chemist. So there are immense, immense number of job opportunities. But as I said, here I am talking about MSc chemistry only, MSc branches of chemistry. And for jobs, you will be requiring additional qualifications, maybe a summer experience or some analytical techniques in uh, particular. So I'll talk about each of the jobs and the uh, techniques, technicalities required for those come uh, along with your BSc or MSc chemistry in the first part of jobs in chemistry which will be uploaded in the coming days so that is the thing next let's talk about material chemistry so material chemistry again uh, we'll be talking more of inorganic and organic materials and their application so material chemistry as their name suggests it's more of uh, materialistic purpose and there will be again engineering techniques are given more importance this is closely related to applied chemistry because here also instead of learning uh, the theoretical knowledge in chemistry you are uh, you're supposed to get more hand-on experience as well as you are supposed to get a gist of what happens in outside world in the uh, application level not just in teaching or academic world but in the industrial areas what are the applications so that is important so glimpse of all branches will be there and first and foremost you have an excellent research career in this uh, area because material chemistry will be always always important till humankind is present um, material chemistry will be always important you have an excellent opportunity for research then you might require additional preparation in csa and net which is a bit of um, um, a topic uh, that you need to consider because in csa and net and gate you might read about all the branches only in the first semester so just like i said in the first video you could um, you should actually uh, think about going um, uh, preparing early itself so that you will not lose the touch on other other subjects like physical or uh, analytical chemistry 
and next uh, also we with jrf you can head projects of companies and the various uh, technical jobs that you could apply after msc material chemistry would be for production head analyst material analyst or material engineering surface chemist then many polymer based and engineering materials based industry will be happy to take you in material chemistry again there may be additional requirements like like a project or a research experience so we'll talk about that in the next video so this this video is purely to make you understand what the material can what the different branches are all about and um, in which area you might need to focus if you are looking for industries and jobs and again uh, the first video if you have not watched the first video yet uh, the link will be there both in the description at the end of the video and also on the top um, right side of your screen you can see the uh, see the uh, video right now next about industrial chemistry again closely related to both applied chemistry and material chemistry so you get a glimpse of everything including physical analytical inorganic etc but more on the industrial applications here we'll giving will be give, uh, the course deals with more with the industrial chemistry with the industrial applications of chemistry so uh, additional topics like agrochemicals perfumery etc might be introduced to you in the industrial chemistry and there will be an industrial training project which is going to be really helpful for you in your career if you are not looking for a career in the um, or in the area of academics then i would say that this is going to help you a lot and slight difficulty will be there in csr net again just like i said in the case of material chemistry you might need to give in a bit of extra effort to uh, crack those areas of uh, physical chemistry and uh, even the organic chemistry and the teaching and research career is open for all the subjects you will have an immense number of opportunities further you will have a lot of job opportunities in petrochemical companies perfume industries agrochemical companies plastic polymer companies pharmaceutical companies etc because you are going to learn a lot of industrial techniques it is required for every industry specifically for the petrochemical industries as well as the pharmaceutical industries so i would say that uh, again you watch the next video to know what are the additional qualifications you you need for each of these areas and we'll talk about the post that you could apply for if you are learning physical chemistry or analytical chemistry what are the different posts you can apply for we are in general we are talking about the areas you can apply but in the jobs in chemistry we'll be talking about different positions that you could apply with bsc chemistry with msc chemistry and so on now we let's go to the next branch which is the polymer chemistry introduction to all topics will be there in organic organic physical theoretical even analytical chemistry but more focus will be there on polymer and polymers and materials and the techniques related will be very much important so the techniques on uh, polymer chemistry and material chemistry will be important and therefore um, you you would learn some engineering like techniques where you will handle these materials and a good project will always enhance the chance of direct jobs because polymer chemistry is already very prominent field of study so if you have a good project in your msc it can increase the chance of your direct job so so you should try to get into a good industrial uh, industry uh, for your summer fellowship or something uh, to get the uh, good gist of uh, what are the techniques happening there and so that you, your cv would be more up, um, more appealing to the people who are trying to hire you for a particular job further this course is much more practical oriented and teaching and research again is open for this course as well uh you have a lot of uh, job opportunities like polymer chemist laboratory chemist material chemist quality assurance officer catalysis applications all these things are open for the people who are taking polymer chemistry then you can head projects and even focus on the engineering side just like i said in the beginning so this is about polymer chemistry again a very exciting branch of chemistry now let's talk about a very different topic which is the hydrochemistry so hydrochemistry again i am talking about the syllabus on the basis of uh, generally in all the universities what are taught but uh, there may be changes according to the university so that is one thing that i have to give on as a caution so in hydrochemistry topics mainly related to hydrochemistry technique geochemistry will be the and some geophysics Uh, certain parts of computational chemistry water hydrology remote sensing etc will be introduced to you 
very exciting and application level branch of chemistry and you can further go into uh, oceanography and all those regions if you learn hydrochemistry and there are many direct job opportunities about which we will be talking in the next video then teaching and research career is option op, 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 uh, open for you csr net and gate you might need to put in a little extra efforts because you will learn the other topics mainly you will be focusing on your your uh, specialization which is hydrochemistry so in csa net and gate more of general chemistry is asked so you might need to put in an extra effort to cover those topics on your own um, so if you are good in the subject easy to go and uh, you are able to you will be able to crack the exam without a doubt then areas of jobs is mainly research labs then uh, quality controller safety and health specialist very important because since it is related to water safety and health specialist is one of the important jobs that you could get after hydrochemistry then biomedical chemist hydro designer etc these jobs are all open for someone who do msc in hydrochemistry so again there will be requirements of multiple other um, other uh, technicalities about which we will talk in the topic of jobs in chemistry let's talk about pharmaceutical chemistry now closely related with what we have discussed in the previous one which is the medicinal chemistry uh, so in pharmaceutical chemistry again uh, mainly organic chemistry the medicinal aspect computational application and synthesis these are the main topics covered in the pharmaceutical chemistry teaching is very important great applications in research and the pharmacy colleges are an open option so uh, you if you complete your msc in pharmaceutical chemistry and if you are doing research you could be a lecturer even in the pharmacy colleges where usually they prefer people who have completed b pharm m pharm or d pharm even msc and phd in pharmaceutical chemistry those job opportunities are also available many of many people do not know that uh, pharmaceutical chemistry uh, course is present in many of the uh, pharmacy colleges so very important uh, this is also an exciting career opportunity for people career oriented people rather than just academics and research so if you want other jobs uh, this is also an excellent option and pharmaceutical industry is an ever growing industry so you will be having lots of job opportunities there then in biotechnological companies and biomedical industries scientific industries quality assurance officers scientists so you have a lot of uh, options available in pharmaceutical chemistry so again in csar net um you might require extra but in organic chemistry you you will be able to crack it well because organic chemistry you will learn thoroughly so i think it is not a big difficulty for you people you might be able to uh, crack it very quickly because you are going to be an expert in organic chemistry and their synthesis so pharmaceutical chemistry another very exciting uh, area of uh, chemistry let's go to uh, environmental chemistry now so environmental chemistry includes the topic of analytical chemistry and uh, spectroscopy chromatography uh, and um, environmental chemistry topics laws etc so uh, there will be more of analytical chemistry then where spectroscopy chromatography etc will be described in details and environmental chemistry topics uh, and their laws will be discussed environmental sciences are a very um, uh, vast area and a, a really responsible area for society because um, conserving the environment is uh, is the importance of uh, i mean important duty of each one of us so environment chemistry give you a gist of what you should do and how you could legally uh, legally even uh, make sustainable reactions and uh, greener greener chemical reactions so environment chemistry is really important and environment chemistry not just deals with those laws but uh, also with the techniques uh, in the how to analyze the Uh, pollution or hazardous things in the environment all those things you will be learning in environmental chemistry and again computational techniques of analysis will be covered here in most of the universities and thing is it would be difficult to pursue a pure chemistry career you will be mostly oriented in the environmental sciences region so uh, not very pure chemistry career and ugc net is an option i think those who are doing environmental chemistry it would be better for you to opt for environmental sciences exam for ugc net rather than going for csa net because you might need to put in extra efforts in the csa net but uh, i'm not clear about this option so i'll talk about this in the coming videos once again 
then there are a lot of job opportunities including in agricultural forest departments research services biotechnology firms animal resource centers and again as environmental health and safety officers environmental health manager and so on safety assistant manager clinical data analyst so these are extremely important areas of career that you could career opportunities that you could explore and these are the things so these are the things that i have to um, talk about today we'll be doing another one more um, maybe one or two more of the know your branches because there are more branches of chemistry that you might not know and we'll also talk about the regions where you might get the jobs and the first part of jobs in chemistry will be out uh, early next week uh, i hope all of you are excited for that video because it is going to help going to be really exciting for the people who uh, who have just passed the um, bsc chemistry exam because there are immense number of exciting jobs that you might not even have heard of before for bsc chemistry students and we'll talk about bsc uh, msc and even for phd students so we'll step by step we'll be talking about the course uh, the qualification the positions you could apply for and what are the extra things that you could do in order to uh, be sure that you are going to get that job so this will be our agenda for the next week i'll be uploading one more video of kerala university very soon for part b and a both and uh, further you can ask me for any videos in the comment section below we are always happy to help you because um, uh, it is important for us uh to understand what you need so please ask in the comment section below what videos do you need and also we have begun a telegram channel for the a telegram channel for chemistry cc for you also i have also begun a begun an instagram uh, page where you could direct directly send me messages uh, so you can i you can find the instagram link in the uh, community the in the about page of this uh, channel you could see the uh, instagram link and also the telegram link will be given to you very soon you can join the telegram channel so that you could get the updates about new videos and the coming videos uh, in the channel uh, so that's all uh thank you so much for watching have a good day everyone uh, choose your branch wisely and in every branch you have immense number of opportunity work hard wherever you go and you are going to succeed in your life thank you so much bye